Let's take a moment to recap our discussion of HTTP handlers and modules. We've looked at each of them in isolation, so now let's review them side by side. If there's one thing you should remember about modules and handlers, it's that multiple modules can act on a request, whereas the response will always be generated by one handler. Yes, you can change which handler is assigned to execute for a request, but in the end, only one of them will execute. This all makes sense if you think about it, most applications require many services which are provided by the modules, but in the end, only one response can be generated for an HTTP request. This is the handler's primary responsibility. Handlers and modules do have some similarities. Both are implemented through an appropriately named interface. These interfaces are also both fairly simple, with only a couple of members each. Handlers and modules also need to be registered with your application, and that can be done either through code or through the web config file. Another important difference between handlers and modules is just how they integrate with the request lifecycle events. Modules can respond to as many events as necessary in order to service a request. Handlers, however, are generally only concerned with the events specifically related to handler selection and execution. This should give you an idea of what role handlers and modules play in the request lifecycle. So in the next lesson, let's put all these pieces together and just revisit how these components work within the MVC request lifecycle.